Okay, so in a previous video we showed you how to try to organize your apps a little bit by using folders where you clicked on one folder or one app until it wiggled, moved it into a folder and gave it a name. Now as we explained, the only problem with doing that on the iPad itself is that it can be very time consuming, especially if you have as many apps as I have. So once you get home, what we can suggest to you use is open up iTunes. Inside iTunes, you go to your iPad under devices and then to the apps tab. Now many of you might already be familiar with this. However, what I want to show you is a way to do this even quicker. You do it by instead of selecting a couple of apps, you select, you sort your apps by category and only show iPad apps. Thereafter, hold down the command key or if you're on PC, the control key. So if you hold down the command key and click, what happens is iTunes will actually deselect all apps. Because you've sorted by category, you can now decide to go down to a specific category, let's say news and go and select the particular news apps. So if we go to the first page, well, let's go to the second page and we're going to add our news apps all together in one page. Let's also get um, yeah, just a couple of news apps that we're interested in. Fiddler Pro is a very, very great news app and then also let's say the Tablet Edition and TechCrunch. Great. So now that you have the four of them already on the right, right screen, now it's much easier to move them over and go and drag in all the rest of the apps which belong in that folder. And that is the tip for organizing your folders much, much quicker. Uh, once you do this a couple of times, you will be very impressed with the speed increase compared to doing it manually on the iPad. Once you have selected the apps that you want, one thing that is important is to make sure that you do have the backup. Because once you sync, if you have particular apps and you don't have a backup of them on your computer, those will need to be downloaded and sometimes you could lose some of the data that you had inside. If you use apps which sync to the cloud, um, you do not have that problem. So all we will do now is we will click apply this particular app, it will remove a bunch of apps. In this case, I would say uh, one password is one I really want. So you can also search for particular apps by clicking the search. Type in I, uh, sorry, one password. We will sync that and then click apply. And after the sync is done, you will have your new apps in the folder. If you have a password protect or if you've synced with an exchange server you might also need to create an encrypted backup as is shown over here. Also it saves a lot of space on your iPad if you only have the apps that you really want so your syncing will be faster saving even more time. The one thing that we do hope will come in future versions of iOS is the ability to have playlists for your apps. This is not currently seen anywhere, but um, it is something that I have suggested and that would be great. What I also like to do is I like to have my first page as just a normal iOS screen with maybe the, the top four apps that I use all the time or a folder with the most used apps. I use my iPad not only for content creation, but also for content consumption and entertainment. One of the screens of the iPad I like to make specifically for creating, another one for consuming, and the last one for management. Everything after that is entertainment and fun things. So let's go ahead, go to page two, or pa screen three in this case. And what you can do is because we've sorted everything by category, all our specific apps, in this case, phot photography or productivity. So let's select some productivity apps, which we can now put together. Ones that I enjoy that I use and as you can see this is much easier they all go onto the one particular screen you can then also take the ones that you think are very useful 
and group them together by simply dragging them into a folder. Okay, as you can see, this is much, much, much faster compared to having to do this on the other. So iPhone. this way it makes it very, very easy. If you if uh, if you cannot remember a specific name of a app that you wanted to use and you can't use the spotlight feature, you know you can just go to your specific page or specific screen for the iPad, which has got to do about either consuming cre or creating, consuming or managing your files and data. Again, after you have done that, you can just click the apply, which will sync the specific apps that you've had and your apps will be instantly put into the correct place and the right screen.